Okay, everyone, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. So, first things first, this is one of those readings, okay, where we're going to have that contest, okay? Prize, a full general personal pre-recorded video reading sent to your Instagram message or by email. Okay, I now have that. We will have three winners announced, okay? The deadline is the very last day of this month at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. How to enter, as we've done with the previous reading, the first three people to comment what the prompt is, it'll be a green card that'll pop up somewhere in this reading, okay? Gets an entry, all right? You'll get to enter as many of the videos as you like, so don't be shy, okay? The more entries, the more your chances of winning, okay? Pause the video when you see that card if you need to, because it's not going to stay up long, all right? Okay, let's get started. Let's get a general reading for you guys. See what's in y'all's energy, what you need to know to today, which happens to be the 4-4 portal, y'all. So, big things may be happening. Let's see. Definitely protection, stability. Ascended masters are watching. <laughs> All the things the fours represent, okay? That's what this portal is all about. It'll go until, I think the post shadow side, it ends on the 18th-ish, roundabout, okay? I always do an average, since there's no um, specific consensus. <laughs> Some say seven day, you know, um, pre and post shadow. Others say 21 days. So I just go with 14 and call it a day. <laughs> Keep it simple, right? Just know that the energy could linger after the 18th, all right? We also have the upcoming week. We have that solar eclipse, which I'm excited for because a lot of energy is going to be cut out. New moon in Aries energy with that. So you, we're already in the pre-shadow of that right now, okay? As well as Mercury retrograde. Fun, fun, fun. Also in Aries. <laughs> All right, spirit. Overall energy, timing, and identifier, please. What's going on for the collective at this time? Take what resonates, okay? All right. Waning moon, what do you need to release? All right. Maybe you've already released. Could be about that. Or something that still needs releasing, okay? Person, place, situation, thing, feeling, emotion, habit. I'm hearing spring cleaning for some, okay? This is definitely a good time to do that. Lighten your energy, okay? More of these. Libra energy here with first quarter moon. All right, keep your heart open, okay? So maybe this might be some sort of relief for you emotionally. This could also be something that lightens your heart chakra so that you bring in a blessing, okay? So what could this be about? Actually, let's roll the dice, spirit. What other signs are involved? Scorpio, high aspected for sure. Leo, Cancer, and Virgo, okay? I'm going to keep in mind these could be placements where this might be relative for you, okay? So we'll figure out if there's any placements that might be involved here as well. You or them. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Uranus placement might be in any of those. Genius, number nine, the ninth. September might be significant. Life path number nine. We also have the 12th house, escape, 36 and nine. So nines are actually really specific here, okay? That means something's mere completion, okay? A cycle is about to finish off. There's just like one little thing left to do or one little thing that needs to happen, okay? Your 12th house could be in any of those signs as well. Seventh house, okay, partners. Could be in relationships of any kind okay 
I'm also hearing business partners, romantic partners, bestie type situations. 31 and 4, April 4th. April 4th. Okay. Definitely today. All right. Funny, 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 funny. Uh, it could be life path number as well. Okay. So 994 might be a significant number, angel number for those. I follow that. That might be a confirmation or identifier. Almost lost a deck on the floor. That would have been bad. All right. Tell me more spirit. It would have been a mess. <laughs> and I would have had to swap tarot decks for you guys. So maybe there's something that needs to swap out. Or might try to get your attention. To be swapped out. All right, since that almost happened, it's in the energy. So, you know, whatever happens in a reading happens for a reason, right? Moon energy, you could be following your moon sign as well. This could definitely be an emotional response to genius, escape, partners, okay? I just heard fear of commitment. Okay. Moods, femininity, cycles, habits, instinct, mother, the soul. You could be dealing with your mother or mother energy. Perhaps they had a fear of commitment, and now they're kind of transcending that, okay? I do see that with the releasing energy. There's relief from that. Uh, the soul, the past, the dreams, comfort, and lineage, okay? Maybe you had some sort of um, nighttime download, so to speak, about it, okay? Although that could be your daydreams, too. Less or so, but still, it would definitely be a clairvoyant uh, download, okay? All right, let's see what this is about for you guys. Let's get um, three, please, spirit from this half stack, and we'll do the same for the other. flip face down all right three more please and thank you perfect all right you have carriage a journey either physical or mental cup you should accept Valid criticism, okay? Valid being the key, operative term. Kite, vacation. This could be about a vacation that you want to take. This could just be taking a break from something, okay? We do see journey here. This could be a mental break, maybe from somebody that's um, critical, okay? Or maybe they're making the suggestion to do that, right? That could be me telling you hermit mode, okay? <laughs> Chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. Shield, you need to defend yourself. I'm hearing boundaries, reestablish boundaries is what I heard, okay? Fly, a period of ill health or depression, okay? Immediately just saw like a person that has somebody that just really wants to be all up in their business 24-7 and why they can't hang out and why they can't do stuff. That could be that fear of commitment energy that I was sensing. This person's just really um, intense, right? And you kind of just need a break from them because they're so intense, okay? Needy, always trying to get your attention. Maybe you might need to feel like you take a break from a person even for a day, okay? Just go out and do you, right? Maybe things have been a little stressful. They could be in this energy. This could be someone you know that you're witnessing, okay? Maybe you need to give them a valid criticism, <laughs> to go and establish their boundaries and take a break, okay? All right. I'm gonna pull from Izzy's deck. Tell me about this escape. Leaving, someone leaving your life, there we go. Let's talk about that, okay. Identify that. It's 
for your peace. Okay. And it's needed like now. <laughs> Ambulance. It's definitely for your health, okay? Your mental, your emotional health here. Gemini definitely could be in a lover situation, or you could be dealing with a Gemini, or you could be a Gemini needing to do this, okay? Needing to suggest this to any of these energies, okay? All right. I think you guys can see that okay, right? Let me see. Let me double check. Sometimes I worry this thing is too far away. Oh, good. Okay, that works. All right, let's get the tea on it. About this person that the collective needs to take a break from. What's their energy so they can best recognize them? What are they doing exactly? Are they the critical ones? What's this? Bad habits, drugs, addictions, and toxicities. Someone that always wants you back, always wants to be in your energy. They could be addicted to you. It could be a codependency problem. Yeah, okay. And they're very um, particular about how they want their your relationship to them to be, okay? Or whoever needs to take a break from them, okay? Forces things on you, forces their weight in, uses force to get what they want, okay? Like they can't... Um, it doesn't seem like they can actually compromise. It's like their way or the highway. This could be a mother energy. Or even a spoiled child or something. Okay. Tell me more, spirit. About this person. I'm just get three on them. I don't want to spend too much time on their energy. I'd rather figure out what you need to do to, cir to circumnavigate it. Okay, two of swords is here. Moon Libra energy, definitely peace. A, decide, a decision to have your peace, okay? You might need to establish those boundaries. This park is definitely in the middle of a city that needs barbed wire fence, okay? This could have something to do with that child-mother connection. It could be an inner child wound that it's triggering. There is good news here and fast movement. Maybe they're trying to get in your face. Okay, or you need to actually like make action of moves here, okay? And communicate your needs with the page of wands here, okay? Cancer Leo Virgo energy. We do have all three of those, okay? It could be a Cancer Leo or a Leo Virgo cusp, maybe. Hangman. Just definitely need to have a change of perspective here. Or a delay just to kind of think things through with this person, okay? Maybe you're trying to decide whether or not you're going to release them or not. Like, are they toxic? Too toxic for you to deal with? Can you put distance? Can you reestablish a boundary with them? That kind of thing, all right? All right, tell me more about the hangman. Let's just get one on that. That is actionable. Anything else? Ace of Wands, new ideas, new sparks, new inspiration, okay? Maybe you need this moment of repose in order to get some sort of um, psychic download, perhaps even in a dream state, okay? And that's why you need to kind of retreat and relax from this energy. I get a sense that their energy is extremely relentless. Um, just won't quit, right? Like just always trying to get your attention. Super codependent. Okay. What's the Ace of Wands, Spirit? Tell me about this Ace of Wands. That could be Aries, Leo, Sag energy. It must be somewhere in your 12th house, 7th house. 7th house is screaming at me. Okay. 
maybe about whether or not this is a partnership that's good, right? A relationship that's good for you or not. Genius escape. Okay. Ooh, whatever this is, it's in your favor. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune is here. This is a destined windfall. This is faded. Okay. Aries energy is here with the Emperor. Maybe it'll allow you to boss up in a situation. This could even be a father figure for you. Okay, not a mother. Ooh, nice. Ascension's here. Okay. I'm seeing you're about to level up. You're going to go from like kings to an emperor. Okay. With whatever move that you make. You're going to see what you're going to need to do. You're going to be enlightened. It's exactly what you need to do in this situation. And by doing so, you're going to have the next level ascension with regards to your masculine energy. That is, whether you're male or female. Okay. <laughs> Love it. You're going to get that sense of strength. The solar plexus is going to be on fleek. Love it. Okay. Let's see. What else here? What's the page of wands here? Yeah, you're definitely going to need to go within about this situation. And make a decision about how you're going to protect yourself and deal with this energy. Okay? So what's the guidance on that, spirit? <laughs> do what makes you feel extremely happy and go for it and take a leap of faith okay whatever's been calling to you whatever you feel like you need to protect just do it okay from this person you might need to just go ahead and do you boo Regardless of whether or not their criticism is valid or not. Okay. Establish any boundaries. Take a break. Really think about how you're going to handle it. Okay. Any suggestions, spirit? Let's get three. Okay. You might have to learn something. Three of Pentacles is here. You might have to lead by example. There might need to be some sort of collaboration or working together. You might have to collect tools, build tools, learn new tools. Okay. For your own independence here, Nine of Pentacles, whatever is easy to do, whatever you can be in flow with, whatever is comfortable, okay? You may have to explore options for your own self-care with regards to this and then start practicing that while you're in this hangman energy, okay? We have the devil here. Yeah, you're going to have to learn ways to kind of free yourself of this, of this, this codependency issue here, okay? Maybe look within self. There could be something from your childhood, since I mentioned that, okay, that is keeping you around this energy. Like maybe there's a false sense of obligation. I just heard no contact. Child, like adult children going no contact. That's been going around a lot. You might want to look into that, okay? Yeah, look into that. And see if there's any tips or tricks or you know, methods by which you can establish your boundaries with whatever parental situation this is, okay? They could be feeling like they're in this lack mindset with the devil card here, and they're trying to get their way back in by manipulation, okay? You could have already released them. You could be an adult that went no contact with their parent, right? And, um, now they're just like, I don't understand. Nothing seems wrong. I did everything for them. 
but they're, you know, essentially not addressing the big pink sequined elephant in the room, you know what I mean? So maybe there's a way to kind of really kind of establish that for you, okay? Whether or not you want to talk to, if you're, I don't know what stage you're in with this, but it seems like there's some sort of emergency response so that you can maintain your peace here, okay? Yeah, I can't tell if, you know, you had already went no contact with this person or you're thinking about doing it, okay? Um, and you just need more time to really examine the situation. Taking more time as in the, these pentacles here rather than all this fire energy, right? Too quick. It's almost like they want an immediate response from you when you're not ready, okay? Tell me more about this devil. <laughs> that wanted to show up in reverse, although I don't take it. Uh, Nine of Cups here, wish fulfillment, okay? It's their wish to stay stay in this energy, too. Um, but it's not your wish. <laughs> it's not what you want, right? Do what you want, all right? Stand your ground about it as well, okay? Definitely have those boundaries up. You might have to take a leap of faith and do something you haven't done before, and you may have to kind of learn about it a bit, okay? All right, let's see. We're going to go ahead and do this. And then I will go ahead and pull from the cannabis. Yes, we'll do the cannabis oracle now. Let's get one, please, spirit. Please and thank you. Guidance. Balance. Chaos. Okay, hey, you're definitely going to have to do a balancing act through this energy. This could definitely be some Mercury retrograde kind of energy as well, so bear that in mind, all right? All right, the number 101, 11, or 2 might be significant. We also have October and January here. The 10th, the 1st, and the 11th, and the 2nd. Okay. Okay. This could be personal identifiers or signs and synchronicities as well, okay? You might want to work with the, the crystal unakite at this time. Even visually, it's fine, okay? The new thought pattern for this card is my emotions are balanced and I react with love. So keep your heart open, right? This card bursts and brings the message to find equilibrium. You can be sure that instant karma will be showing up for you no matter where you are on the spiritual path. Above the rocks, you see a bright star illuminated. Sirius streams light codes down into the middle of the rocks and reminds us of the gentle balance of the forces that drive us. There is a fine line between chaos and balance. Just as your thoughts can build you up, they can take you into a momentum that is out of balance, causing unease, stress, and multitudes of other negative things. And perhaps this energy has been extremely stressful. And that's why you need a break from it, right? So you can recenter yourself, ground yourself from it, okay? Take a moment and really examine what you really want to do with this. Get those messages coming through, okay? Maybe you need more sleep, it suggests, or more work or more alone time, whatever it is to balance you out, okay? Look inside yourself. You will find it within your spirit, okay? Pay attention to your dreams. I have a feeling you're going to get hints little nudge because you do have some work here as far as learning is concerned okay and you might just need to switch gears and not do as much attention to this person and more attention to that right kind of balance it out all right let's get let's get three from the herbiary feeling it i'm feeling it I'm feeling it I'm still learning this deck, so bear with. Me. 
We have Starflower. You might want to work with that herb. Finding Grace. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Lavender. Oh, yes. Especially if you're having difficulty sleeping, lavender will help you, okay? It's great in teas. There's a chamomile. I think Bigelow makes it. I think, if I can remember that, yeah, I think that's the, the company that makes it. It's a chamomile lavender tea, and that's amazing. I don't know. Sometimes you can find it on the store shelves. Sometimes you can't. You might have to order it from Amazon, okay? Tough Love. One more. And Perseverance Dandelion, okay? Dandelions are great for manifestation too, okay? And that's strength. That's why people would blow them and make a wish. <laughs> All right. So maybe if you see a dandelion out and about, pick it up and face south and make a wish, okay? Starflower, finding grace. If you're thoughtful, caring, and true, grace develops a patina over time, becoming wisdom, cradling those lucky enough to be in your presence, getting a sense of really just kind of being woosaw with this, okay? How can you let a little more grace into your life, all right? You might need to meditate, too, I'm hearing. There are a lot of meditations for that that are very helpful for kind of just going with the flow and just not taking it on the chin and saying, namaste, mf -er. <laughs> Okay. Lavender. Message of this card more specifically. Give me a second here. Well, Lavender appears to be the down-to-earth and gracious grandmother who will soothe your soul and sing you to sleep. You're living a rare and blessed life if that's all you ever need from her. If circumstances should change, call on Lavender. She handles emergencies with military precision. We will have this kind of emergency thing. Keeping a cool head and a stout heart. She'll make a fine spy, field nurse, or leader of the resistance cloaking her steely strength under a sloppy gray bun and the familiar scent of summer. It's time to ground yourself and dig into the task at hand, okay? And you can also get a bundle of it, put it under your pillow, it'll help you sleep at night, it'll actually help with your dreams as well, okay? I grow the stuff, I love it. <laughs> All right. And the bees love it, and the butterflies love it, and the birds love it. It's amazing. All the birds love it. Dandelion Perseverance. Bold, bright, and sunny energy is dandelion, okay? Dandelion's medicine is perseverance, but not the perseverance of the martyr. Instead, dandelion is the eternal optimist. So stay positive. Like the fool in the tarot deck, okay? Have that leap of faith. She's always happy to set off on a new adventure in hope of learning more and digging deeper. She's not an airy optimist, though, with no grounding in reality. This one just says ground, right? She's the shaman and the Buddha, and her message is this. Happiness is in an inner landscape that has little to do with where you're planted. When you're ready to make your own joy, whatever life throws at you, call on dandelion because her seeds float in the wind, right? Okay. <laughs> wherever it goes, wherever she plants herself, okay? Now let's get your final guidance from the Foxfire Titsune Oracle. Oh, and you can also do essential oils if you'd like. I'm actually wearing her right now. She smells so good. So, so good. But lavender, you can, you can find pretty much anywhere. Even if not grown. Or the flower. And dandelions are weeds, so you can find them anywhere. Probably right about now anyway. Especially if it's been raining a lot. Starflower, you might want to look into. I do think they make teas out of it, if I recall, okay? Let's get one, please, final guidance. 
Ha! Call forth the waves. Talk about going in flow here. Number four. Again with the fours. It may only be like four days. I don't see four, you know, years here. It's like days, maybe months, okay? Maybe weeks with the swords. That was the first one out, you know? Okay. I don't think it's like a permanent lockout with this energy for you, okay? I think it's temporary. Just to give yourself a break, okay? Call forth the waves. There are times when all is tranquil, and beautifully so. And there are times when all is simply too still, and nothing has changed, because nothing has been done. Too much for too long has stayed the same, and now this denizen of the seas of energy, which surrounds the realm of the Kitsune, is urging you to call forth the waves and to stir the world around you into action. So you need to take action. Maybe it's been like this for too long, okay? For there is much to be done and many things which are bringing discontent, and yet all is remaining the same. So much so that it seems that this stasis is natural, simply the way things are. And that's perhaps because someone wants to force it to be that way, right? With the forcer card here. Nothing's changed. <laughs> but she, this being of the sea, is here to tell you that this is not how things must remain. And she will show you how to call up the waves of pure energy from within, the emotional energy which sustains and feeds you, the watery energy of memories, and the psyche which gathers its strength and pours through the world, lifts up all that has stayed too long hidden so it can be seen and changed with pure, raw energy. Call forth the waves now, friends. Raise them high. And let us see what power there is in initiating change. Being active and courageous and immersing ourselves in the pouring forth of the energy that has been too long held within, restrained, tethered for no good reason. You do have a bit of that tethering, the bondage, right, with the devil. So it may feel like it's been locking you in for too long, right? Holding you down, keeping you obligated to it. Call forth the waves, connect to this great primal tidal force, and know that no matter how formidable change may be, it is a living thing, unlike stasis and the quiet of intimidation. Rise up and see who joins you as you dare to take the right of your own life upon the waves that you called upon. Shall you dance? Interesting. So there may be others that she's also manipulating, whoever or he, this parent, whoever or this child or whatever the situation is, okay? There may be others that witness you taking a lead on something, okay? Nice. So you may be helping others in the process to gain their strength and do the same, okay? Know you are free and a powerful be being filled with instinctive energy. Others will rise to join you, and as you do this, your life will be filled with a new and cleansing energy. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So there you go, guys. That's what I have for you. Until next time, pay attention. All right? I'll be doing contesty stuff randomly. I'm not sure. I'm kind of still testing out the premiere times as well, okay? So if it's a good time for you to pop onto that premiere, do it, okay? Please let me know. I'm kind of uh, calculating all the watch hours during the premiere only to determine whether or not it's a good time to go live, so to speak, all right? I only have one time left, left to actually test for the weekdays, but I have a mess of them for the weekends. <laughs> so I would love that, all right? Until next time, bye.